from half a million dollar supercars to watches that cost more than your house. These are stupidly expensive things MLB stars own. Bryce Harper has an obsession of buying overpriced cars, but when he bought a brand new Mercedes-Benz CLS 63 AMG, Harper decided to do something different. See, spending over $100,000 on a car wasn't enough. Harper wanted to make sure his brand new Benz was unique. So Harper ended up customizing his entire car, and instead of the Mercedes logo, Harper got it replaced with the Washington Nationals logo right above the license plate. But the coolest part of his customized whip has to be his initials being engraved into the floor mats of the car. Now that's nothing to what Justin Verlander spends his money on. We all know Justin Verlander is one of the highest paid players, but if you combine his salary with that of his supermodel wife, they could buy anything they want. The star pitcher dropped a bag on his new house. He paid over $6 million for a mansion in Florida. The waterfront estate is located in Jupiter, Florida and comes with its own poker room, bar, and a giant pool. But if that wasn't impressive enough, the $6 million home comes with its very own boat dock. After Mike Trout signed a $427 million contract with the Angels, he had to go out and drop a bag. But he decided to put his money to good use and bought a mansion for himself. Trout ended up spending over $9 million on a mansion in Newport Beach, California. The mansion is over 9,000 square feet with more than eight bathrooms and its own elevator. But when you're signed to nearly a half a billion dollar contract, you can spend $9 million on a crib. Now, we know Ricky Henderson doesn't play anymore, but one of the best hitters of all time in the history of the sport made a decision that would cost him a million dollars. And although we understand the sentiment, a million dollars for a frame to hang on your wall seems a little excessive. At the peak of his career, Henderson was given a signing bonus of a whopping million dollars. But instead of cashing it like most players would, he had a better plan in mind. Henderson got the check frame to hang it on a wall in his house. Of course, a lot of fans asked why he would do that, but according to Ricky, with the amount of money he makes, he could afford the million dollar frame. What's worse is that if he tries to cash the check now, the value would be exponentially less because of inflation in recent years. But when you're one of the richest baseball players of all time, a million dollar frame in your living room is the perfect way to show it off. We all know Randy Johnson is a legend when it comes to the world of baseball. As a left-handed pitcher, the player made quite a name for himself in the sport while he used to play. And with that kind of fame comes a lot of money. Randy decided that the best way to spend his money would be to buy the most lavish property for himself. Randy, on the other hand, found the property that he liked and paid over $25 million to get it. The house comes with a fully equipped gym, a tennis court, and a pool that's bigger than my house. Not to mention a poker room, a movie theater, and a bathhouse with a wood-burning pizza oven. But it's no surprise to anyone that Aaron Judge is one of the richest players in the league currently. With a net worth of over $50 million, the guy has developed a taste for the finer things in life. One of the things he loves throwing money at is cars. Back in late 2020, Aaron was stuck home just like all of us. To kill some time, he was looking at cars online until he stumbled across a Hennessy Venom F5. Aaron fell in love with the car right away and had to buy it. But to his surprise, the car was super limited with only 24 made that had a price tag of $2.1 million. But that's nothing for Aaron Judge and decided to drop a bag on a brand new whip. Reggie Jackson was once known for his incredible car collection. The man has an eye for vintage cars that cost a fortune. According to the Hall of Famer, his first love was cars, and he started collecting them before he could even drive. His collection consists of over 100 cars, each costing hundreds of thousands of dollars at least. Although around 30 of his precious cars were destroyed in a fire accident back in the 80s, he has since rebuilt his collection. According to recent estimates, his collection of vintage cars cost over $8 million. $8 million for a vintage car collection sounds like a lot, but this next player decided to spend $8 million on a tank? Yoannis Cespedes is another player in the MLB with a taste for expensive cars. He owns some of the most expensive cars out of any player in the league. His car collection consists of some super rare cars such as the Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita, costing him over $4.8 million. Although the car is pretty cool, we don't think anyone needs to spend that much on some wheels. But Cespedes can hear you from inside his tank that he paid over $8 million. Yeah, you heard that right. He bought a tank for over $8 million. But Alex Rodriguez bought the most expensive thing that no player on this list can compete with. 
See, after Rodriguez retired from the MLB, he decided to make his money work for him and became an investor. From dropping countless millions on real estate properties to funding startups and even owning a Mercedes-Benz dealership, A-Rod has done it all. But in 2021, A-Rod decided to take his investments to a whole nother level. He ended up copying an NBA franchise team. A-Rod and former Walmart CEO teamed up to buy the Minnesota Timberwolves for $1.5 billion, making this the biggest purchase made by an MLB player and A-Rod on the top of the game.